And here come the competitors in the gold medal matchup to the roar of the crowd, featuring a competitor from the United States against a competitor from the Islamic Republic of Iran. And, and definitely Witzel, uh, we'll talk about this in a bit, but almost a David and Goliath situation considering the Islamic Republic of Iran Archer qualified 51st. Yeah, that's true, that's true. On paper, this is this match would be over already, but seeing the conditions at this at the, at the at the competition right now, we'll just see what happens. Exactly. Roger Willett Jr. from the United States shooting on target number one, ranked 17th in qualification, individual gold medalist in porridge. Amir Kazampour from the Islamic Republic of Iran shooting on target number two, as I mentioned earlier, qualified in the number 51 position. Last year, Witzel in Antalya, he finished fourth, so he's he's definitely improved on that standing as he has a chance here at a gold medal, the same gold medal he won in Porridge not so long ago. No, that's true. I've, so, I've seen him shooting this year, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Hitting 10 after 10 after 10. Interesting uh, a note, too, in Porridge, these two competitors met in a one versus 16 matchup with Willett Jr. winning one nice shot, right there at the bottom, you're still at the bottom. Opening Good strong, shot. opening strong with a 10. That's the way he's shooting the whole tournament. And he responds with a 10 as well, not to be outdone. Back-to-back -back tens for Willett Jr. from the United States. As he shot the arrow, you can hear him say, yeah, he, he already knew he's, he was going in. Yep. Ten. Triple ten for Willett Jr. Incredible shooting here to start off. The gold medal matchup. Witzel, this guy's in a zone. He is, he is. I, I, they call him junior. Maybe maybe after this final, we will call him senior. Because <laughs> very strong shooting. Three tens in these conditions. Now, you talked about his shooting during qualifications. He only qualified at the number 17 position, but the guy's a 10 machine. It, it, can you carry over what you did in qualifications to the medal round, considering it's a completely different day with completely different conditions? Well, you know, maybe he, maybe it wasn't a good day for him. And you don't have to forget, there are a lot of compound archers who are very, very strong. So he's played 17. Maybe they're only like 10 points difference between right, number one and right. 17. So that's very close together. Willett Jr. scoring 700 points in his qualifying. 700 off a seven maximum, 710. Not too bad, eh? No. <laughs> I would be happy if I could do that one. Nine points starts off this one. Seeing the conditions, that's okay, that's okay. All right, good shot, Roger. That was a good shot. Right there. Take that one. Getting some encouragement from his coach. That's close. I hope it's nine, but can't see from here. Ten, Looking nine, very stable. Yeah. Okay, good shot, Roger. Good shot. Solid nine. If he can keep this up, it's very going to be very hard to beat him. You know, if I was his coach, I would tell him to turn his side. All three arrows on the left low side. So and why is that? Well, probably he was shooting okay, right, but right. he has to turn That's his good. side to, to, okay. to hit the middle. 
Probably you will do. But the grouping of the guy from Iran, very nice grouping. Yeah. Could be three tens, but well, they have to be in the middle for that. No, exactly. Willett Jr. starts off his first three arrows with three nines and responds with, or make that three tens and responds with three nines. So if you're shooting nines and tens, uh, most times you are winning this competition. Then you have to be perfect to beat him. As he has been proving this tournament before, you have to be perfect 10 scores to beat this man. Roger Willett Jr. holding a 57-50 lead after six arrows. Nine arrows to go in this gold medal matchup here in the men's individual compound division. We are underway. Both archers approaching the shooting line. The archer from Iran will shoot his first arrow because he, he's behind in points. Strong wind picking up here. Starts off with a strong nine. Good shot, that was a good shot, just off the left, that was really Very good. Very strong. You don't want to be waiting in this wind, you want to put him in as soon as you can. That's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt. That's definitely not gonna put the pressure on. No, when you shoot Willett. sevens against Roger Willett Jr. Oh. It's all right, it's all right, Roger. Well, Usually in trouble, fast. but yeah, as, yeah. as I spoke, he, he, he himself shot a seven. Strong shooting, strong shooting. Great way to end. Good, that's okay. Willett Jr. holding an 82-76 lead here after nine arrows. Only six more to go. And Witzel, this, this isn't over just yet considering as we as we mentioned the wind conditions but it just doesn't seem to be phasing uh, Roger Willett Jr. as far as uh, wind you you may ask him after the contest and <laughs> he may not even have felt the wind <laughs> well I, I, I'm not sure about that one <laughs> uh, you got one one mistake I, I'm, I'm sure he definitely wouldn't have made it when right. it's when it's not windy but yeah he's shooting very solid very strong I think it's up to now it's one of the but it's the highest score Yep. Definitely. Ex no, exactly. Of course, the high scores so far. So we've seen the the, uh, the women in both the bronze and the gold medal matchup. We also seen the men in the bronze medal. It was Dittmar Trillis with a 141. So that's that's almost a number we'll look at to see. Who comes around the 140 mark? True, true. And it might be a mark of exactly who are our medalists and who are our finalists. Yeah, well, if you want to call it like that. You know, <laughs> as, as we said before, uh, to be here, you have to beat yes. a lot of good people. But experience is a big thing in these conditions. Got two That's points good. back on this That's arrow. Okay, Roger. It's yep. okay. Four points difference. Hey. Hey. Responds with a ten. That's back-to-back -back tens it's for the tens. archer from the Islamic Republic of Iran. Hey. Great uh, shot, Roger. Great shot. This is how you should answer this. Very, very strong. Shoot a 10, respond with one. Too bad. 10-10-8. Oh, Finishes it up. His 12th arrow. 
It's all right. Now a four point lead with three arrows remaining in this gold medal matchup. Yeah. No, it's just barely, just right up the top right there. But, so. It's all right. But you know, four point lead. We've seen stranger things happen this tournament. Absolutely. So. <laughs> you almost look at a sort of situation on that first arrow. If he chips away a point here, two points here, two points there, it's 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 a total new game. Yeah, it can it can be it can, it can happen in one arrow. That's true. But I think he's determined to win this gold medal. And if he does, it would be back-to-back -back gold medals for Roger Willett Jr. of the United States. As we mentioned earlier, a gold medal in Porridge. And looking for the same result here in Antalya, Turkey for stage two of the World Cup. And this, on, Roger. this is if Willett right now. takes the gold, this that will definitely mean he will be in the World Cup final in Istanbul later on this year. And that, of course, is the goal of all of these archers to be part of that Elite 32 competing in late September in the World Cup final in Istanbul, Turkey. But first, they have to go through the stages and, and make sure they keep on competing as well as they have so far. It's a good shot, Roger. That's okay. Five point lead with only two arrows remaining. Nine. Nine, but I don't think that's going to put the real pressure on, will it? Yeah. And Good shot. That's what I'm talking about right there. Replies with a 10. Finishes with a total of 128. Hit the target to clinch the match. Registers a seven. <laughs> with a score of 133, 128. The United States capture their first gold, gold medal of stage two here of the World Cup of Archery. Roger Willett Jr., your winner here in the men's compound individual, scoring a 